uh, helping one young couple and met, the, met with the king. Over here, friend. This legionary says this doorway just opened and Tribune Alea is somewhere inside. And of course. We watched the false king enter the ruins, but he sent his warriors against us. The Tribune drove them back and went in after him. Well, she has bad habit of jumping into portals. The skein was right. Ethelia used her power here. There was no doorway into these ruins before this one suddenly appeared. According to this legionary, Tribune Alea witnessed the whole thing and went charging in after them. <laughs> she has pretty uh, straightforward way to, way to deal with things. Sounds like something she'd do. We'd better head in and find her before she tries to take on who knows how many Shardborn and Recollection warriors. But if this is Miss Cockhand, that won't be all we'll have to deal with. Take Abolisher. An alien ruin of a city as powerful as Miskarkand will have dangerous traps, maybe powerful undead. I have a feeling we're going to need that blade before we're done here. Go on, I'm right behind you. Okay, so this village is placed just top of, on top of the Miskarkand. This character didn't have a Bosmer release in uh, Elder Scrolls 4. Uh, below. Okay, so it's, it's on the other side. Okay. Go oh, ahead, yeah. Beragon. Here, Beragon goes. There were bitter fish goblins and undead in, in, in the Elder Scrolls 4 in this place, so. It's like a 500 years in the future or something. Fools! It's just like the legend said. We're definitely in the right place. Okay. You need to find a way to close that portal. Oh, Alea is here. Do we have a scamps? No. Is it? There's few. Let Legionnaire. Abolisher. But that's an Argonian. Okay. I, I wonder how <laughs> what the uh, charges her relics. Okay. Damage the portal. Okay, the more energy and try again. Okay. Abolish it to close Miramore portals. Tribunalea, you're safe. Safe? 
We were pinned between a daedrus spewing portal and a blocked passage before you came along. Okay, lots of dead Daedra. Glad you found us, comrade. I was meeting with Greenspeaker Derelith when Nantharian walked into the village like he still owned the place. Marched straight to these ruins. He had a strange cloaked woman with him. I think that was Athelia. I was thinking I was performing my duty as an Imperial Tribune. And I wasn't alone. I had legionaries with me. We fought our way through an army of recollection until we reached this dead end and got trapped by that portal. How did you find me? That doesn't sound good. Shard Marshal Vargas is here too. I was hot on their heels, but they stepped through a portal at this blocked passage. I couldn't follow. And now we can't follow We've because I destroyed the portal. We've got to find another way to reach <laughs> the deeper halls. Abolisher. We saw Vargas use it to open portals, and we just watched you use it to seal portals as well. All right. Cut us a path through this collapsed passage, comrade. We'll catch up to those bastards yet. Okay. Forces fighting. Up there, it's Shard Marshal Vargas. Warriors of Miramur, stand fast against Mora's minions. If this memory interests you so much, allow me to send you there. Escape the memory, oh no. This has happened before. showed Shardborn fighting other Daedra. Athelia was defending something in this place. That was strange. Vargas appeared and threw you into that memory with a wave of her hand. I'm glad you found your way out, comrade. I chased Vargas, but she escaped me again. Let's keep going. Friends, the gate closed behind me. Hurry, use Abolisher. Nantharian is just ahead. Theragon, wait for us, damn it! There he goes. Nantharian, stop! A wild burn unleashed with the power from that well will destroy Westwield! Ah, uh, okay. I have suffered your interference more than enough, outsider. 
that's a toll for a Bosner. Portal game mechanic is, is a new, new one. Like it's from Destiny or something. Some other game. Uh, fractured. Remnant. Apparently my friends, if they kill something, I get head points for that, charging up the abolisher. Stopped one thread, but did you see? Ethelia changed. Let's talk about this back in Skingrad, friends. I may never get used to fighting Daedra and magic users, but at least we put an end to Nantharian and his plot to destroy Westweald. 
That should finish the recollection. Now, is it too much to hope that Athelia will take her power and just go away? Yes, <laughs> that's too much, much to ask. We stopped Nantharian and prevented a massive wild burn that would have destroyed the rest of Westweald. But Athelia and Shard Marshal Vargas got away. Let's go back to my townhouse and figure out where we stand. So the cultists and Athelia had a like it pretty different ideas how to, how to proceed. So I wonder what's her game. That was pretty large for a Bosmer. That guy. We stopped Nantharian and prevented a massive wild burn. Vashabar deserves a chance. Not everything Nantharian built turned to evil. Somewhere he lost his way, as did my friend Greenspeaker Sorolin and others who fell in with the recollection. I need to go to Vashabar and tell them what happened. Apparently so. He considered himself the heir to that empire and planned to destroy Westweald to rebuild it. Some things are just better left buried, and seeing Athelia restored was terrifying. I wonder what she plans to do with all that power. I may never get used to fighting Daedra and magic users, but at least we put an end to Nantharian and his plot to destroy Westweald. That should finish the recollection. Now, is it too much to hope that Athelia will take her power and just go away? Nantharian is dead. Hope Root is destroyed. The Recollection has no leaders and no friends. Some diehards might linger for a time, but they won't pose a significant threat to Westweald. No, I'm more worried about Shard Marshal Vargas and her prince. I have no idea. Maybe they'll never give Westweald another thought now that Athelia has her power. But she wants vengeance for what was done to her. That might lead to very bad things. I don't think we've seen the last of them. Okay, so... This was like a... C or D part of the game. L like in songs, you can divide them to several parts. Actually, through the magic skilled uh, quest right now. Scholarly motor ruins. Ah, good. You must be our backup. An odd came through. Magnus, watch over you, Nalia. We'll keep watch out here. Right. Lead the way, traveler. The door just down the hall here. So she's a uh, uh, knight of the lamp. So knight two that uh, actually serving the mage guild. Here's a mage guild symbol in in her on her chest. Thank you for coming. The guild will make this worth your time. Rest assured. Head through the door over there. I'll be right behind you. Any chance I could get you to cast a few investigation spells while you're in there? Maybe learn something about this place. Never mind. Nalia's giving me a look. Just do what she says and watch her back. Got it? You're the one Nalia's been waiting for. You're not what I expected. But perhaps that's just what she needs. Mind your step. This place is a bit of a mess thanks to that portal. Now that we have a moment, allow me to introduce myself. Nalia, Votary Knight in the Order of the Lamp. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Adept. Enard briefed you on our situation? That's exactly right. I'm quite proficient with portals, you see. This was my first time patrolling here in Sunamir, filling in for a friend. 
I sensed a portal through the wall back there, and when we broke through... Well... I mean, I tried. There used to be a lot more wall back there. The portal didn't like me trying to go through one bit. Raw magical energy came bursting out. I'm just lucky I wasn't scraped up too bad. This portal is old magic, keyed to require two people to enter at the same time. I think. That's where you come in. I'll see if I can stabilize it, then we go through together. Do you have any questions before we head in? Fair enough. I'll answer what I can. What? I'm good with portal magic. Really good. But I'm self-taught. I can't really put it into words like one of the adepts might. I've made and examined a lot of portals. This one is... odd. Unique. A door with two keyholes waiting since the first era. It's the strangest thing. I'm certain it's somewhere in the Daedric realm, but it's... shrouded, somehow. Protected. And it wasn't always there. It's like a bubble of our world suspended by a thread in that realm. The thread being this portal. Each knight takes a solemn vow to protect the Mages Guild, its members, and its goals. When we're available, we also go in first to deal with situations like this. Trying to assess the unknown before letting the adepts get their hands dirty. There aren't many votaries in the Order right now. Part of why I joined up. I tried the adepts' life before that. Being a Lamp Knight suits me better. Even if I still get called on for my portal magic just as much as before. If we were still on patrol, I'd be perfectly comfortable with Laren and Julian at my side, but we have no idea what's beyond that portal. One of the nice parts of being in a guild is you can call in backup. That's you. Sunamir? Uh, we're in Somerset, deep under the Magus Guild in Sunhold. There's a few ways inside, so the guild has us patrol every so often, just to make sure no cultists or tome thieves got in. Okay, so we're now in, in um, uh, Sunhold, Somerset. It's not, really. The place was donated to the guild sometime around its founding. The oldest books found here were from the early middle of the First Era. Shame they weren't kept in better condition. A lot of these books have been lost to time. Here we go. It's happening again! Oh! At last, reawaken some latent magic in here! Look around while I get this thing under control. Watch out! And all this time, this book said would a location to meditate. I just need a little more time. Bro broken record. An illusion. It seems distorted. Right about the portal. Let's figure out where we are and find the source of all this unstable magic. Scholarium rules, okay. Throws that run out. to 
protect what? It reminds me of a bit of Stalker. You feel that surge of magic? We're getting close. Yeah! Animated arc mag is. Okay, he, he won't fall down. Definitely old, old elven architecture. What do you need? Whatever is causing this, I think it's in the next room. Come on! Incredible. We'll have to explore when we're not in mortal danger. All this unstable magic seems to be flowing from those doors to the altar. Ah, see? You took the words right out of my mouth. Close the doors if you can. I'll see what I can do to stabilize the focusing crystal on the altar. I'll handle things here. Shut those doors. Luminaries. Dragon, Eagle, and a uh, Niche, and a uh, Hippogriffin. Ain't, ain't Rick. Okay. It's been too long since someone basked in my presence. I didn't... <laughs> well, I thought that uh, niche would sound a bit different, but... Drove the dragon. Two moons is set the star park night. One a lamb, and one a light. Okay. Hello? Grief on oh, no. the eagle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. I 
unlocked door. Magical doors were left unclosed or something. <laughs> okay. Uh, that wasn't the best idea I've ever had. Meddlers, thieves, what have you done to my altar? Crow. We were just trying to calm things down. Who in oblivion are you? This is a fine way to wake after centuries of restless slumber. Did she send you? You're not at all what I was promised. It wasn't enough to break in. You had to smash the altar, too. You may call me the Crow. This is the Scalarium, and... <sighs> I see now. She didn't send you. If she had, your knight wouldn't have smashed the altar's focusing crystal. I suppose, if you meant true harm, you could have done much worse. We'll need a new crystal to act as a focus for the altar. Procure one and... Pin feathers. I suppose it's the only way. We'll have to try. This altar focuses power to shape the very heart of magic itself. If we're going to get things under control, I'll need to talk you through the rite of scribing. But first things first, there should be an old focus or two in the East Wing. Hurry! The East Wing should still have a replacement crystal boxed up somewhere. Don't let the Scalarium's defenses stand in your way. Hurry now. <laughs> we'll have all the time in the world to talk after the magic here is quelled. If the altar isn't stabilized, our conversation options will be very limited. Because we will be dead. I'll hang back. That blast took a lot out of me. A talking crow. This just gets weirder and weirder. I suppose you'd better do what she says. Well, that sounds like a normal mage guild for you. Okay. Just going to do that by pick it up in the first place. Second era of scribing. So this is from the first era. The whole whole place. Shall it yes, good. Dora must mentioned. Place it in the empty locus. If we are to quell this magic, we must focus it into a new creation. Place your hands on the altar. This is the scribing altar. Make this grimoire your own. Okay, so we can actually do craft more magic here. Well, soul magic. of the Scalarium is calmed. Nice. Well done. Let's talk about what comes next. So it's soul magic and it goes goes here. This first magic spell, so you can basically do a magic spell in this uh, expansion. That this it's is the done. place. The altar is quiet, and for the first time in centuries, scribing has returned to Tamriel. It's clear Ulfsil did not send you, but I believe she would be quite proud of you just the same. 
Archmage Ulfsild the Evergreen? Warrior Witch of Kynes Aegis? Clever Woman of the Druidoth? The Pale's Priestess of Juno? She created the Scalarium and perfected the art of scribing. Like a ray of sunlight from Magnus himself. Yes. Scribing is an art developed by Archmage Ulfsild in collaboration with powerful beings. Spirits, if you like. They are called the Luminaries of Magic. And you, adventurer, are going to seek them out. To inherit Ulfsild's legacy. To make your mark on spellcraft itself. The Luminaries wait beyond these beautiful sealed doors. If you're willing, I will guide you on the path of scribing. I will take you under my wing. There is a world of magic beyond your mortal ken, adventurer. With the luminaries at your side, there is nothing you cannot accomplish. Speak to your knight. Consider my offer. There is much to be done, but it will be good to flex my feathers again. Like a flock moving across the sky, scribing twists and turns in the wind. It was an art form, a discipline, and a life's work. And as she got to know the luminaries, it became a collaboration with her very best friends. Ulfsild saw the world differently. She could literally see magic, watch as it spiraled in ribbons across the world. As she grew up and formally learned to cast spells, it gave her a perspective on magecraft no one else had. Yes, yes. She hoped that with proper technique and a sufficiently powerful focus, anyone could develop the same relationship with magic she had. She spent the work of lifetimes pursuing that dream, and never quite saw her work bear fruit. Most spells and skills are time-honored traditions. Reliable, consistent. But they lack artistry, require nothing from the caster beyond a basic understanding of how Magicka flows. I described scribing as an art because it requires artistry. Yes, that's a good way to look at it. Grimoires are spells and skills built from the ground up with artistry. No one would claim they're the most efficient, most reliable workings. But they're far more flexible than the average magecraft. Ha! Huh, you've got it! You can paint a picture with many different brushes, many different colors, can you not? Scribing allows a talented hand to do the same with magic. Crafting a spell or skill in just the artistic fashion you want. Ulfsild's innate gift to see Magicka brought with it a lifetime of lived experiences not easily transferred to others. So she developed the art of shaping magic via ink, parchment, and quill. What was missing was raw mystical strength. In so many ways, scribing hinges upon the borrowed power of the luminaries channeled through the altar. With their power flowing to the focus at the heart of the Scalarium, a mage is able to do incredible, ineffable acts of creation. And I have questions for you. It's been so long since I've spoken to someone like this. They are beings of pure magic. The beings That's of pure name. magic. Utterly unique. Like beams of light emanating from so, the face uh, of Magnus first himself. spirits, basically. Each has chosen a shape that suits their personality, following goals and interests entirely of their own choosing. Ask each luminary what they are, where they came from, or how they came to be, and they'll each give you a different answer. My suggestion is that you meet them, learn all you can, and decide the answer to that question for yourself. As they themselves once taught Ulfsild. Yes, the luminaries understand magic in a way mortals never could. Their power, freely given, will allow you access to arcane mysteries others could only dream of. We are beneath an island called Ivea. In ages past, Ivea was a sanctuary for magic, founded by Ulfsild's husband, Archmagus Shalador. I am caretaker to this space, Ulfsild's familiar, set to watch over it when the island was lost. Okay, so this is a familiar, and it's pretty smart, because it's like a Grand Wizard's familiar. Is that so? What curious timing. Did the Archmagus think to mention the Scalarium or its treasures? No, I am not surprised. When Shalador's foolish pact lost him the island, Ulfsild's precious work was taken as well. This this happened in a... that was a Mage's Guild uh, side quest in a, in a base game. We are, 
But don't get your feathers in a ruffle. The Scalarium was shielded from mages, princes, and powers long ago. Time has not been kind to Ulfsild's library, but those protective wards still stand strong. Has all record of her accomplishments been lost? Not a footnote remains of her life and deeds? Pretty much. Her discovery of the luminaries began long before she met and wed Archmage Shalador. Though their collaboration would encompass the work of a lifetime. I'm surprised to hear that. They were very much in love when last I saw them. They knew they would not see the end together. But they had made peace with that idea long ago. Shalador was one of the greatest mages to walk the face of Nern. He planned to live until the Aedra themselves wrested him from this world. But Ulfsild didn't want to live forever. She wanted to leave behind a legacy. Now, thanks to you, she will. I've been a knight in the Order for years, Traveler, and I've never heard of anything like this. A lost art of shaping magic, an ancient library, and these luminaries. This is incredible. Hopefully you'll learn exactly what a luminary is while you're at it. I'm lucky you were here, Traveler. My magic is so specialized. With that altar, who knows what else you'll learn to do? What sort of spells and skills you'll create? Well, me? I need to report in. Tell the head of my order what's happened and get guidance from the Archmagister. If you're asking my advice, why not stay here? Talk more with the Crow and see if you can start to walk this path she mentioned. A patrol to last a lifetime. I brought you in to help with an unstable portal and look at everything we've done. Explored an ancient library, met a talking crow, and apparently revived an ancient form of magic. Can't wait to see what happens. Yeah, that, that, that's magic, magic skill for you. Soul trap orchid purple. I have no idea how I'm going to explain this to the head of my order. This will be a long and entertaining conversation. In the meantime, you have a feathered scholar to speak with. You passed some of my trusted associates when we entered Sunamir. I want them tasked to investigate and catalogue what we find. In the meantime, you're our resident expert on scribing. You need to learn everything you can. You couldn't be more right. What are the luminaries? How do they relate to this lost art of scribing? We have more questions than answers. Luckily, we also have you. I'm a touch nervous to bring this to the Votary Commander and Archmage Galarian. This is... Well, this is going to come as quite a surprise. And those two hate surprises. I'll be fine. Probably. Of course. We really jumped into the boggy end of the swamp together, didn't we? Answering a few questions is the least I can do for the world's foremost expert on scribing. Oh, me? Not much to tell, really. I grew up in a guild family. My mother was an adept, and my father was a researcher back in Elden Root. I started off sort of following in the family business, but most magic just kind of eludes me. Yeah, swords always made more sense to me than spells. Portals and I get along great, something about how they come together, like a good riddle. But most magic and I just don't get along, much to my father's chagrin. Each knight takes a solemn vow to protect- There aren't many votaries in the Order right now. My plan is to bring in Ernard, who opened the portal for you, as well as Laren and Julian. You pass them back in Sunamir. Ah, and Chronicler Ferrandil. He'll be invaluable here and can keep the other three in line. Votary Laren and I have gotten each other out of more scrapes than I can count. Julian is sour as a plum, but she's one of the smartest people I know. And Ernard doesn't look like much, but he cuts through guild politics like a spell-forged blade. Ferrandil is... well, he's not much fun at parties. But put him in front of a stack of moldy old tomes and he'll have them organized, catalogued, and analyzed faster than you can say Eye of Magnus three times fast. Okay. So, magical soul. I wonder how broken this is, because 
if I recall correctly, uh, the spellmaking Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, that wasn't really... It, it was there, but it wasn't uh, that useful, maybe in some situations. But in uh, uh, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, you could actually make make uh, stu more stuff uh, with the, with the spell, spell, spell writing. But yeah, it had clear rules. Although in, in Oblivion, the pot potions were totally broken. And they were still in, in uh, Skyrim, I think. So interesting that you can actually do your own own own. Own spells. I, w I wonder the b balance wise. So let's take the. I'm glad you've chosen to stay, interloper. The path to master scribing is not an easy one, but its rewards are in new. Appears to be leaving. Did I ruffle her feathers with my cause? A guild. Of mages? Fascinating. But a topic for another conversation. Let's stay focused. Ulfsild prepared for the day that someone would follow in her footsteps. She left behind resources, notes, and information for her eventual inheritor. What I want is immaterial. The luminaries will dictate your future as a scriber of grimoires, an editor of spells. That said, I am Ulfsild's familiar. I can guide your early steps, get you flying in the right direction. Where you perch is up to you. Wolfsild left a number of echoes, instructional illusions, scattered throughout the library. Their aim is to guide you through the process of contacting the luminaries, making allies of them once again. There's one just behind you. See for yourself. The echo at the base of the altar is just one of many. Fly back to me when you have followed Ulfsild's instructions. You are seeing this. The crawl has set you on the path to learn the art of scribing. A world of magic awaits you. I've left behind another sort of guide. The true sight lens. Seek it out in the east wing. The lens and the fables are signposts to seek the luminaries. And they will teach you far more than I ever could. You are seeing this. The crow I've left behind another sort of guide. Hmm. I wonder if this is like a, like those portals and stuff, what you can find in a, in a other places of this, this game's areas. I made this lens, so you a look through the lens will allow you. I saw signs of this ancient magic from an early age. Certain fables seem to sing with the same magic. Only when I was grown did I revisit them. That was how I. Freak is the is the first. Target. So you basically unlock the ability to make uh, spells. Good, you found the lens. It will be your most important tool in tracing a path to the luminaries. Merely holding the lens will attune you to the flow of magic. You will begin to see focal points, impressions left behind by these mystical beings. It's quite simple. Stand in one and peer through the lens. 
Hidden magics in many forms will be revealed to you. Doors, glyphs, even secrets layered within tomes. But here, enough talk. Let's begin. Gather your feathers about you. Nearby, you will see a focal point and the fable of the Indric. Read the book, then step into the focal point. Peer through the lens, and you'll see the tome in an all-new light. Ulfzild's secrets are all around us. You need only know where to look. Read the fable of the Indric, then use the lens and re-examine the tome. You'll see what I mean. Ulfzild created the True Sight lens as she developed the art of scribing. From a young age, she could see magic in a way few others could. This intuitive understanding of magic was what led her to the luminaries, and inspired scribing itself. From a very young age, Archmage Ulfzild found she could see the current of magic as it flowed across Nurn. Faintly at times, more strongly in others. A rare and precious gift, one granted by Magnus himself, no doubt. So there has been like a question that... Uh, because there's no like a reveal magic spell, like in the Dungeons and Dragons have. Uh, can, can people see the effects of spells like in a computer game? Well, this implies that, mm, yeah, well, some, some can, can actually see. Probably game game characters can can see ma magic, but seeing and won't. understanding are two different things, interloper. The lens was a tool, a high branch to give her a bird's eye view of impressions left behind by the luminaries. The tome is here. A hunter traveled through the green waters of the break. Of dawn, sneaky body, uh, and worry. Come across a lady, creature of hoofs and feathers. What do you chase me? I'll ask the creature. I saw the furry quarry. Just ask the hunter. Now enter the focal point and peer through the lens. You will see what was unseen in the fable. So we definitely got like a clues. So this is actually sending me away to, to the land, uh, overland to find those places where we can lock, lock more powers to scribe. Excellent. Ulfzild's annotations will tell you where you need to go. Okay. Um, lighthouse. You've seen the hidden annotations then. You should be able to follow those annotations in sequence. In sequence. Leading you from location to location. Just like the hunter in the fable, you seek the Indric now. Let Ulfsild be your guide. As this is your first time, I will accompany you into the field. Not everything you need to know is on the page. I will teach you how to break the luminary wards and retrieve key fragments to enter the Indrix domain. I'll meet you at the Lady's Standing Stone in Oridon. How nice it'll be to really stretch my wings again. Ah, oh, what a flight! I almost didn't want to land, but to business. The Luminaries are beings of great power. Each has a domain they have shaped to their choosing. Each domain has a door, and each door, of course, has a key. As I said in the library, let the Fable be your guide. We are here at the Lady, the first annotated location in the Fable. 
Just as you did back at the Scalarium. Peer through the True Sight lens within a focal point. Magic wards left behind by the Indric. A trio of these wards hide a fragment of his key. Once revealed, these wards can be dispelled from a distance. Clear them all, and the key fragment will be revealed. Don't worry, I'll help you find it. If the Luminaries share one trait, it's a love of a challenge overcome. Yes, you'll need to gather three key fragments to open the Indric's door. Let's begin. And remember, if you lose your sight, there will always be more focal points at hand. Peer through the lens, reveal the wards, and claim the key fragment. This may seem a small step, but an incredible path waits before you. The lens just turns the way from the old side. Shades of how the luminaries see it. Now, find the wards. Find two more wards to reveal the fragment. Your vision has faded once more. Find another focal point. Peer through the lens and break the wards to find the key fragment. Fragment of the intrigue. Okay, is yours. so. Well done. So this is like um, travel around and look for clues and they are slightly, it's a bit timed uh, goal as well. Talk to the crow. You've taken to this well, your early steps to master scribing. But from here I must take my leave, return to the Scalarium. Ulfsild, I believe, wanted her inheritor to walk this path alone. Just as you did here, use the fable to find your way. Dispel the wards, and with key in hand, you should be able to open the door, and meet the luminary Indric face to face. He will likely ask you to prove yourself worthy of his power. I have a good feeling about you, interloper. Altar breaker. I have faith you can do it. Magnus guide you on your journey, and I'll see you back at the Scalarium. Just remember, you can always reference the fable of the Indric from your bag. Wolfsild's annotations will guide you on your journey. Find the wards, obtain the fragments. And soon, you shall meet your first luminary of magic. Okay, that... Ah, it, it, yeah, it was solo instance. I suppose that was like a part of the old old main plot of the base game. Reveal the Indrix door, which is uh, okay. It's there. I was thinking it might be there, but it's it's over there.
The luminary yeah. imagery store is close. Find the path to the top and take the next step on your journey. Okay, it's a dog. Many long years since a mortal entered my domain. And now here you are, following in Ufsilt's footsteps. Welcome to my domain, adventurer, bearer of my fable. I sense the power of the Scalarium within you. Your ring stained hands have touched the altar's magic. I sensed too when Ufsilt's essence faded from this realm. After all these years, do you hope to be her inheritor? I sense potential. You hunger for power. Much as Ulfsil did when she sought me out all those years ago. I will ask you the same question I asked her. Do you deserve this power? The power to edit grimoires? No. <laughs> to rewrite magic? Yes, absolutely. What confidence. You believe you have the wisdom to use my power. Well, I'm, I'm playing power Dark Elf, to so... Maim or mend, to blast with flame 1, or freeze with ice. Confident. We shall see. First, my door must open once again. Place the fable you carry with you upon the dais. A story is never just a story. It has the power to change from within and without. The fable of the Indric acts as a symbolic connection. A commitment from me to you. Place the book and open the path. <sighs> it's good to taste the ink of the Scalarium upon the air again. Power can mean many things. Its meaning may change with each new day, each turn of the season. Wolfsild learned this hard lesson when the Scalarium slipped away. If I am to teach you as I taught her, I must learn what power means to you. A scroll nearby details a series of challenges, expressions of power, both subtle and not. Choose two to complete that I might know what power means to you. You do not know me yet, but I am no taskmaster. Power expressed against one's will is no power at all. Attempt only the challenges that appeal to you. When you are done, return, and we will take your next step together. Rest easy. I would not set you to task without cause. There is method to my mindset. Killings of the Anchor, wild native trees and fall from skies, scores when represent of an Alcorn to Auridon. So destroy uh, sky anchors. Tenants of Teamwork. Face of other, other campions of DC Battlegrounds. Tenants of Strength, while being such so superior strength that it can tell of Auridon's later. Tenants of Cleansing, 
unlimbing lady tries to sully the purified land of origin. Use her strength to send the dead back to uh, the dead domain. So kill zombies, <laughs> basically. Okay, so this this is uh, well, this is uh, not a small small thing to do, but it's it's doable. 